We have Mr. Mukesh uh, Ambani, who is the Chairman and Managing Director of Reliance Industries, um, joining us. Now, Reliance is interesting, very interesting in this context, because, of course, in of itself, it is a diversified company. It is India's largest private sector enterprise. And as I said, Mr. Ambani is the Chairman and Managing Director of Reliance Industries. And I've still introduced Reliance as being... Uh, a diversifying company. So obviously the parameters are slightly different for you. How do you see this challenge um, put up by the all majors of becoming a net zero carbon? Thank you, Tanya, and greetings to everybody. Your Royal Highness, it's a privilege and pleasure to be with you on this panel. <clears throat> the way I see it is uh, that in the progress that humankind has made over the three industrial revolutions, we have disturbed the carbon cycle. Right? We have, uh, uh, and now it is time to use technologies, as His Royal Highness said, and Patrick said, to reset that balance and adopt the carbon cycle. Right? It's not only imperative for us to be net carbon zero. But I think that we have to recycle carbon. I believe that uh, Mother Nature is the best uh, technology that no humankind can ever do. And she teaches us how to recycle. Uh, last 100 years, we've forgotten the carbon cycle. Uh, His Highness reminded us about that. And I think that Saudi Arabia in the G20 summit is putting this on the global agenda. Uh, we have to adopt technologies and I think that for us in the energy business, it is not so much about uh, decarbonization, but it is really about uh, really completing the cycle. And I think that uh, uh, renewable or clean fuels, right? I think about the business as a very simple framework and energy is an essential requirement for all the 8 billion people on this earth. Uh, there is need to provide efficient, clean, affordable energy. Uh, and we have to do it in a responsible way. That's the business. We shouldn't confuse that between clean and unclean. Uh, I think that uh, where we are, if we take a clean sheet of paper, we can adopt technologies whereby we can complete the uh, energy cycle, we can adopt new technologies, particularly of the biochemical photosynthesis route, whereby we can, instead of treating carbon dioxide as a liability, we can make that as a raw material. There are new progresses in uh, the electrochemical routes, in the catalytic routes, whereby we can still complete the uh, carbon cycle. I don't think that just uh, one solution will fit all. The important thing also is to allow energy equity. That means uh, if you, everybody has to have access to clean energy for their quality of life at an affordable price and the challenge for industry. And I am again a big believer that the challenge for industry and the purpose of industry is prosperity of all people, that is supply of energy on an affordable basis, is prosperity of the planet. And only after these two can there be prosperity for the companies or the shareholders. And I think with uh, where we are today in the coming decades, uh, we have no choice but to meet these challenges, to complete the carbon cycle and uh, serve the energy needs of all its customers rather than thinking in terms of fossil and renewable and wind and so Mr. Ambani, just, just, just very briefly, if you would, um, what about the PIF partnership and, and how you engage outside the company um, in order to make this happen? Well, I think that uh, for us, particularly in India, uh, we have um, a high growth rate of energy. So it is important uh, that uh, one works with consumers and uh, spreading awareness. Uh, this virus itself has helped uh, uh, everybody realize 
the benefit of uh, of uh, of the low carbon mindset to be engaged outside and i think the real touch with the community understanding the community at the on the ground level and understanding different sectors of the economy and getting them involved in the energy movement is critical for uh, having a part to restore the carbon cycle in the